Hello, my name is Christopher and today I'm going to show you how to install Chromium on Casa OS. This makes it to where you can surf the internet from your Casa OS uh, server and uh, it's really cool and uh, a little bit about this series is I'm going over starting the home lab from scratch. I'm going to go over installing things, getting things running, showing you how to set up everything. So if you like that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel and let's get started. So I'm gonna start with a custom Docker Compose YAML file. Um, so I did create a GIS for this, so it'll be down in the description so you can get to it really easy. And I added comments to it so it explains things and you can learn uh, about how this YAML file works and how it's created. So we're gonna specify a version of Docker Compose syntax being used, so 2.1, divine so uh, services, so we're going to define a service of uh, Chromium. We're going to specify the image. So we're going to use Linux server and then Chromium and then the latest tag. And we're going to set the name of the container running the service. So we're going to set it to Chromium. We're going to define the security options for the container. This is for older Docker engines uh, that a lot, a lot host, I mean, uh, and system calls um, for unknown to Docker and if this option is not set, it runs in no sandbox test mode without it. We're going to set some environment variables. So a user ID, a group ID. We're going to set a time zone, a Chromium CLI. That, uh, this is the first URL that it will come to when it opens the browser. We're going to mount the volumes. So data, Chromium, config. This might change when we put it in Casa OS though. We're going to post the ports, so 3000, 3000, 3001, 3001. So this is going to be on the host side, and this is going to be in the container, host, container. This is a HTTP port, this is HTTPS, and we'll be using a self signed certificate for this. So we're going to set the size of the container shared memory segment, so one gigabytes and define the restart policy with the container. So if you stop it for any reason, it will not restart, but if it fails for any reason, it will try to restart. So that's what the Docker Compose is about. So I copied the gist that I showed you before, and um, I'm going to go in App Store, gonna custom install right here, and then I'm gonna say import, and I'm going to import Docker Compose, paste it in, and then I'm going to submit. And you can see that it did change the data directory. We'll take out that slash. And um, it looks like it all went in good. Just I'm going to change this to 3001 for the self signed certificate. And HTTPS. I'm gonna put a name on it, and I'm going to go over and get a image for the icon. Okay, now you can see the icon image there, and this should be good to go. So I'm gonna install with the install button right here. You can continue in background and let it extract and run. This is a download in the Docker container off Docker Hub, off the Linux uh, server. Okay, now you can see it's up and you can see settings. So it's not downloaded off Docker Hub. It's downloaded off uh, a Linux server. They have a custom Docker registry. So um, now that should be good. It did set a, ho a host name down here too. And now we can go check for updates. You can check for updates there. You can restart it. 
power it off and power it on. You can uninstall it. You can set tips if you want to for yourself. You can open it here. So I'm going to open it up and let's see if it starts. So now it's going to say that a profile appears to be in use. Not sure why it says that, but I'm going to say unlock profile and relaunch. And um, then you can see that it opened up on BigBearTechWorld.com. So, and you can go to another tab. And this is just like Chromium. So you can go to settings, you can see settings just like normal. And you also have tools over here like keys, drive view for import, clipboard, full screen, game cursor mode, settings to turn things on and off. And you can also disconnect. So that's how to get Chromium working on COS OS. So I just showed you how to install Chromium on uh, Chasm BNC and then it's running on your Casa OS server and it makes it where you can surf the internet. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you need any support, you can go down to the Big Bear community. And if you have any video suggestions, you can go on the Big Bear community as well or comment down below. So stay tuned for more.